Hello, my name is Rodney. I'm from the PO Gamer Kugan YouTube channel, and today I am going to be talking about a TV series from the '90s that was on it was on Fox that I really enjoyed, and it actually brought quite a bit of controversy in its time. And that is Kindred: The Embraced. It is a vampire TV show that is about there's different clans of vampires. If you've seen the Underworld movies, the, the that company, I can't remember who produced those right now, got sued by White Wolf, which is the company that... Okay, let's start from the beginning. First, there's a role-playing game called Vampire the Masquerade. I love this role-playing game system. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite role-playing system. Uh, this book I have looked through so many times. I've got it marked like little tabs and everything. I mean, you can see the book is kind of falling apart now. Or I've actually I've looked through this thing so many times, and <laughs> I can know because like there's certain pages that that, that might, the book falls to because I've looked at them so many times. Like um, you can see right there. No, it's actually right there. The page that. This is my favorite clan, is the Tremere. They weren't in the show, but all the other clans that were in that are at the Toreador, they're in the show. The Nosferatu. I don't think the Malkavian was in it, but the Gangrel. The Bruja. And there's the Ventru, which is the and the Ventru. So they all those are the different clans. They all came from this game. Well, and from this game, they made Kindred the Embraced. And then the TV show Underworld came out and pretty much ripped off this game. There's actually a few games in this system. There's Vampire the Masquerade, Werewolf the Awakening, I think. And then there's Mage the Ascension and a few other ones. Like there's a... Uh, a Fey one, and there's a, a Wraith one. But the two most popular ones are the Vampire one and the Werewolf one. And the Vampires and Werewolves are at war with each other. And pretty much the Underworld movies ripped off White Wolf, which is the company that made this uh, game. And they got sued and they lost. But, I was talking about this TV show, I just want to kind of give you like a little backstory. But if you've seen the Underworld movies, you kind of understand how, like, you had the older vampires and how they are asleep. It's a little bit different from how they do it in that in that show, in that movie, because, how, like, there's always just one elder was awake at a time. Well, in the vampire, in this, there's, you have the different elders and things like that. Um, but you never meet those in this show. You basically, you, it focuses on, uh, the main character is... Julian Luna, uh, he is pretty much, he's a Ventru, he's the prince of the city, which means he's kind of like, he controls it. It's kind of like a mafia with vampires, really. It's kind of how you could think about it. It's really good. If you like The Godfather and The Sopranos and stuff like that, you, if, if you'd like to say, hey, those could use some vampires, <laughs> you'd probably like this. But, some information about the movie, about the, movie the TV show. It was only, it was only one season long. And it was canceled after that. And that is because... Okay, I, I believe this is so. I was actually looking up on the internet. And the main actor, Mark Frankel, I think is how you say his name. He, I understand, Fox was going to, wasn't going to air this because there's, there's some issues with it. And he died before the season two could start filming. Because I think Showtime was actually going to pick it up. And he died in a motorcycle accident. I'm actually trying to look right now. Uh, well, it talks about his... It doesn't really... Because I was looking on Wikipedia trying to find stuff, and it didn't really say. But he did. He died June 13th. That's when he was born. Died. There we are. Uh, September 24th, 1996. And that's not long after the show started airing because it started airing in 96 also but very good tv show there's pr there's only like i think eight episodes 
or something like that. Yeah, eight episodes. And it's like 377 minutes is what it says the running time is. But basically you have Julian Luna, the prince of the city, uh, kind of like the head of these families or these different clans. And he's trying to keep power while he's, everybody else is trying to take power from him. They want to be the prince of the city. But he's, he has a real, he has a, kind of like has a, he has a, everything under control. Well, he, there's these falls and he has feelings for this human woman. And it's kind of like they're trying, and he's trying to hide that he's a vampire from her. And he's still trying to protect her from the other vampires. It's really, really good. Um, the, there's actually some, there was some controversy about this show though. And mainly over this game. Because they're trying to say that in this, this book tells kids to drink each other's blood. It doesn't. But that was the whole thing that they're trying to get people not to play. They're like trying to scare parents. Like, if your kids play this, it shows in there that they, that they prick each other and drink each other's blood. And I believe there was, there was probably a small group of people that did that. But I played this game for many, 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 many years. And... I have never seen anybody drink anybody else's blood. And there's, I've read this book through many times. I couldn't tell you how many times I've read this book. And nowhere in here does it say anything about drinking anybody else's blood in the game. Like the, in like the other player characters. Now, in when you're at your character that you're playing, yeah, they drink blood all the time. And I think it's what they were trying to use to scare parents and everything. But... Because of that, they found out this was based off of it, and pretty much it got all of that attention also. And I think that's the reason why I think Fox didn't want to continue airing it, so I think Showtime was picking it up. I may be wrong on that, but I believe, cause from what I was reading, that's what was going to happen until the main actor died. And that's actually very sad, because actually he was really good in this. But the... Some, some of the characters in it, uh, Lily, the um, owner of The Haven, which is a bar in, in, the, uh, in the show, is I had a crush on her for many, many years after I'm watching this. And there's actually, what is his name? Okay, I, gotta, I just remember. There's actually an actor in this, at the head of the Bruja clan, that I cannot remember his name. Because he's been in so many movies. Alright, my iPad wants to act up on me. But he's actually he's actually a really cool actor that I've actually seen in so many things that I've really wanted to There. We are. Brian Thompson. I could not remember his name to save my life. This guy. He plays the head of the Bruja clan and he's actually really good because he's, he's, he plays like the typical thug. And actually if you look in the book, because this book was made, I can't remember when these books were, when it was actually first released, but the guy for the Bruja clan, it kind of, I mean, it kind of reminds me of him. Where's that picture at? There we go. Kind of reminds me of him a little bit. <laughs> but so yeah, this and but this TV show, the interactions between the characters is done really well. It's really well well written. Um, it has action. It has murder and suspense, and um, it's got a love story in it and. Just actually multiple love stories. Um, so, I mean, and the, the episodes are like an hour long each. So it's not like, oh, I'm going to in like in two or three hours, it's over. No, it's like, it's like almost like around eight hours worth of stuff. And it's really good. I highly recommend watching it. This is one of my favorite TV shows pretty much of all time. It's not my favorite because my favorite is Babylon 5. Then I believe it'd be Highlander. And then I believe it'd be this. This is like my number three favorite TV series, and it's really short, so I very highly recommend this TV show. I wish they'd come back out. I wish they could try to redo it with 
today's technology because some of the things they did in it um, I don't know just for, for the day they had to be tamer so I'd like to, to come out with it today and actually I'd like it to be done by like uh, one of the premium channels like HBO Showtime or Cinemax something like that so it actually could be done properly like a Game of Thrones type show like this but the only problem with that is I think it's going to be too much associated with stuff like Twilight this is as far from Twilight as you can get. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's a love story in it, but no, nothing like Twilight. The, one of the first things you see happen in the show is they stake a vampire to the droop of a building and the sun comes up and he bursts into flames and burns it. I mean, that's like one of the first things you see in the show. So it kind of, that kind of sets the tone for how the show's going to be. And it's just, it's really, really good. But hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, I'll be back next week with another video in my uh, Friday Night Fridays series. Uh, if you've seen this, tell me, in the tell me in the comments if you liked it. If you didn't like it, tell me why. Because, I mean, I know some, I mean, it might, some people might not like it because it's a loader show. But if you watched it when it, when it was on in, the, in 96, tell me. Because I, I watched it. I, I, I mean, I think it came on at like 9 o'clock, I want to say. Is that what time it came on? I can't remember what day. Maybe Fridays. I can't remember what day it start what days it is coming on. But really good show. Highly recommend it. And like I said, if you got if you remember, you watched it, tell me below. I'd like to hear what your thoughts of it, what you remember of it. But hope you are enjoying it and till next time. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked the video, go ahead and give me a like. If you'd like to see more from me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I release at least two videos a week. Most of the time I release more. Leaving a comment actually helps me a lot. It helps me know what you'd like, dislike, or would like to see on my channel. So go ahead and leave me a comment. If you would like to get in touch with me, have any questions or anything like that, you can go ahead and email me at vmail at poldgamer.com. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time.